Hi everyone, I am Sumant. So, in this video, we will discuss a uh, pandas cross tab operation. So, what this cross tab means? It will be useful to create a uh, frequency of combinations in the form of tables. So, I will just show you. So, if you can see the data here, so this is the card data, and if you can see, we have the columns like car name and fuel type, seller type, transmission, right? So, what this uh, like if you just use cross tab on two columns, so what it will do means so for this combination, how many times a particular value occurred? Like for, for example, let's say for the for the car name wagon, right? So, how many times uh, the fuel type, like how many times the fuel type petrol has uh, occurred, right? It will just so this cross tab it will be useful to create such like it will be used to calculate such frequencies and like frequency in the sense how many times it occurred and it, like it will just return you the tabular form so that's what this uh, cross tab right so tab in the sense tabulation so let's understand practically then you can just able to understand so here you can see i just imported the necessary libraries pandas and numpy and here i will just try to uh, read the data and if i just use df dot head of actually this data set i have just downloaded from kaggle and you can see the head right you can just see the top five rows so we can see that columns also like car name, year, selling price of the car, and what is the present price? Price, and you, you can see the other columns as, as well. So let's check the type, like uh, shape of this uh, data. So you can see we just have three, not one rows and, and nine columns. Now let's try to use a cross tab operation. So I will just use pd dot. So if you just use, so here you can see we just have cross tab. So I'll just use that. And if you can see the arguments for this cross tab, so the arguments are index and columns, like, and you can see values, row names, column names, and aggregation function. Like, we just have few arguments. So, let's discuss, we will discuss that one by one. And, and also, you can just see the, uh, the, the available documentation for this cross tab operation. And now, let's discuss one by one. So let's and uh, I will just give so here we just have two arguments as index and columns right so in the sense so the column like the name of the column which you gives in index so it will be considered vertically and the name of the column which you give in the columns argument it will be considered as horizontally so that's what that is, so that what it will do if we discuss that with an example then you will just understand so first I will just give df of uh, seller type and and the next argument right in the um, which is columns so i will just give df of fuel type so if i just give enter so you can see the uh, table which we got here like first we have given df of seller type right so you can see for the seller type we have two different uh, two different types like that is a dealer and individual and for the fuel type we have three combinations like cng diesel and petrol so so i just said you right first when we just give df of seller type it will be considered in vertical wise so in the row manner so you can see we just have dealer and individual here and the thing which were given like when we just given uh, df of fuel type here so it will be considered as uh, horizontally right so you can see uh, cng pet diesel and petrol so you can so even you can just uh, interchange these two things right first you can just give df of uh, fuel type and df of seller type so then it will just these two things will get um a reverse right that the table will get the table will just get a transposed so that's what it will do so if you can see the output here so what what we got is you can see the for the seller type dealer um like in the data set we have two cng and for diesel we have 59 and for the petrol 134 similarly for the seller type individual so we just have cng like we don't have any cng so that's the reason we just got zero and for the diesel we just got one and for petrol we just got 105 entries in the data set so that's the complete frequency right you can see frequency in the sense like how many times this has occurred in the data set so that's what it returned so for these combinations like how many times but like what's the frequency so that's what we got here right so that's the use of this cross tab right so it will just create the tabulation with the available combinations for the given columns 
so we just give so we just given cellar type and fuel type so for these these are the combinations right so these are the combinations these are these are the uh, frequency count so that's the use of this uh, cross tab now let's try to understand the other arguments also so we index and columns we just understood and similarly we just have like a row names and column names so if you want to uh, give uh, some other names of the rows or some of, some are some other names to the columns right so here we just have seller type right so instead of this seller type if you want to give some other um, name you can just specify that in row names and similarly here we just have fuel type right in the column so if you want to change that you can just and rename that using the column names argument so that's the that's these two uh, row names and column names so let's i will just show you that also so i'll just give row names equal to i'll just give so instead of seller type i will just give seller right so if you can see like you can see when i just given the row names is equal to seller so you can see instead of the seller type we just rename it to seller so that's the use of this uh, row names and column names and and let's discuss uh, other arguments also so here you can see we just have so here we just have margins is equal to false right so let's try to give margins is equal to true uh, two and let's try let's see what what will be the output right so margins right so so you can see so when when i when we just give margins is equal to true so we just return the a uh, total right total right uh, total values also so you can see we just have another uh, column like all here and here also right so it will just give total number of frequency count for example, like uh, in the sense like like how many times like what's the frequency of dealer in the data set so we just have 195 times it just returned so you can see for the individual it just uh, the frequency count is 106 and similarly for cng right so how many times the cng has occurred in the data set so Two and similarly for diesel, so it just occurred sixty times, and for the petrol, it's returned like it, the frequency count is like two hundred and thirty-nine. So that's the use of this uh, margins is equal to two. It will just count like it will just uh, sum the it will just give you overall count of the like overall count of the particular combination. So that's the use of this margins is equal to two. So now now let's try to discuss uh, other. right other uh, arguments also like you can see we just have uh, values is equal to values right values is equal to none so what's this like what we have to pass in this values means so we just want to give another column right so let's try to give values is equal to df of i will just give uh, selling price right so i will just give df of sell values is equal to df of selling price so what's the use of this values means like for these combinations which we got here it will just calculate the selling price like uh, for example let's say for the uh, seller type dealer so like for the seller type de uh, dealer and cng for this combination uh, like uh, what's the selling price right what's the selling price so it will just so with this with this values we just want to pass another argument also so if you just give enter so we will just see so you can see we just got an error right so values cannot be used without an aggregate function so when you just specified values values argument you just want to specify the aggregate function so you can see i will just give aggregate function is equal to i will just give mean mean here so what it will do means so what it will do means right for these combinations right for example let's say we just have a uh, dealer or uh, cng combination so for this combination we just have two values in the data set like for these two it will just calculate the mean of the selling price right and similarly for dealer and diesel so for this combination we just have 59 uh, data in the like in the data set so for all these 59 it will just calculate the mean of the selling prices and similarly for dealer and petrol we just have 134 combinations right so for all these 134 combinations it will just calculate the mean of the selling price so that's what this values and aggregate function combinedly will do so when i just give enter here so you just see we just got uh, some data so you can see for a dealer and cng we just have two columns right two we just have two data uh, two rows in the data set so like the frequency count is two so for those two it just calculated the mean so the mean of the selling price is 3.1 
right and similarly for dealer and diesel we just have 59 and the uh, selling like the mean of that selling price of those 59 data is 10.18 so you can see the all the combinations here and you can see here the thing for the one which we didn't have like which we have zero so it just given the nan value and so this is a very useful operation right so you can just check so you can just uh, you, you, you will get an understanding like for which type of vehicle we just have more selling price right so from this we can just check for for the diesel it just have more selling price right so you can see all these three for the diesel we just have more selling price so that's so that's the use of this so that's the use of this cross tab right useful like we can just create an useful table an amazing information here so using this all these uh, arguments and not only this mean you can just give other uh, functions also so you can see i will just use sum right so if i just give sum it will just give what are the total sum of those things and similarly you can just try all those things here in this aggregate function and also we just have a normalize right and also we just have normalize here so normalize in the sense when we just give normalize is equal to um so for this we just we can just pass all our index and columns so if i just give normalize it will just uh, calculate the normalize it will just give you the normalization normalization in the sense it will just uh, for every particular value it will just uh, subtract from a mean and it will it will get divided by standard deviation right so you will just get normal normalized value for everything for every value so for every value you will just get the normalized value so that's the use of that normalize right so these are the arguments which are present in this cross tab and this is the useful right you can see how useful this is uh, you can you have to get the insights from the data so that's it for this video i hope you understood this video if you feel this video is helpful like the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe and thanks for watching